a lot of damage. And why is he not see there we go, there's a siege on that tank. Why is he not sieging his other tanks? They do so much more damage that way. These mutilists coming in and sniping off this tank, a very good idea. These marines just can't take him down fast enough. The hydralists are helping uh, clean this up. And uh, Paul's attack was completely ineffective there. Nice defense uh, from Blue Paul. The mutilist attack in the siege tank was a really, really uh, key point in that part. However, Paul did the very good thing and expanded as he was pushing, so even though his uh, push failed, he does have this expansion, he needs to lift it off, and he will probably place it at the gold. I would like to see him place it at the gold and turn it into a planetary fortress, which is very strong against Zerg. Uh, it forces them to stay in Mutalist so that they can keep... Uh, sorry, brain fart. So that they can uh, counter the Mutalist with Marines and Thors. Overlord coming over there to scout and see what's going on. Sees two marines that stim. That is a complete and utter waste of stim. You're not going to kill a fast overlord. And here comes changelings to help scout things out. And he doesn't even kill the changelings. He's changing like, hey Joe, how's it going? Paul dropping this and changing it into a changing it into a changing it into a nothing. Okay then, uh, we will forget about that and move on and see how his army is looking. This is actually a fairly small looking force. He does have 99 food somewhere. A lot of it must be in SUVs. Some of it's still in his base. And you can see the Zerg army starting to mass up. He's at 120 food. I know he's got to have more mutilists. Yes, there's some more mutilists right there. Ooh, and Fester's coming out as well. That's very excellent. And he is getting the pathogen gland upgrade for them, so they come out with more energy. Very nice. Planning to use them for fungal growth will help against the Hellions and Marines in the army. Let's keep spreading this creep, uh, or re-spreading this creep after losing it. That's a very good idea. Coming up here, I'm guessing to plant another creep tumor. Very nice. Always a good idea to use with your overlords that are spewing creep. And it looks like we have Hellions coming in the back to do some uh, as much damage as they can. Uh, they don't see that expansion there, but the, here they are coming up here, seeing how much they can fry. Getting a drone on gas. Very nice. The blue flame completely destroying so many drones. He needs to move these drones away, losing so many, and these Hellions are going to run back to home. Very nice play by uh, Red Paul. And still no upgrade on this orbital, uh, on this command center. I think that's a mistake. I would really, really like to see a planetary fortress here. Would really help in, uh, increase his influence. Uh, Paul is now on four bases with a ridiculous amount of minerals and uh, gas. In a very good position. He's getting uh, neural parasite now, air weapon, weapon one, uh, missile attack two, uh, 22 more zerglings to help try to spend all of this uh, minerals. Uh, he is currently at 146 food, uh, Paul's at 133, uh, so building up another big force, I really, this is a very, very scary force from Paul, I'm not sure if he plans on pushing out soon, but we shall see. Transferring some drones over to his uh, fourth base Finally doing some transferring that's very good from him, and still no upgrades on this command center instead of making, uh, instead it's now making SCVs. I don't like that one bit. Uh, should, probably should transfer, nope, he's got six SCVs there, that's not too, too many, but could probably do uh, for a little less there. And Mutalisks now are flying around for Paul, seeing what they can see. Does see the expansions up and running. There's a couple missile turrets up here for Paul that will help deflect. And here's the Vikings to help beat off the... <laughs> that was the wrong word to use. To help fight off the Mutalists so that they can shoot the Mutalists and draw them into either the Thor or these missile turrets. Anyways, it looks like both players are just sitting back for now. Uh... Paul, Red Paul is currently supply locked, has way, way, way too much gas, probably needs to be getting himself more upgrades, he only has one weapon upgrades, and uh, he is, at least his marines and marauders are 1-1. One, one. He is only getting vehicle plating 1 and uh, Terran weapons 2 as well, and here comes a huge, huge force from Paul right now coming in here to take out this uh, Thor. These Zerglings are going to surround very quickly. Oh no, these investors need to go back. They're going to get completely destroyed. And oh no, even though they got one decent uh, fungal growth off, that really, really hurt Paul because he could have stand, stood in the back and sent some uh, parasites. And it looks like Paul will be able to fight this off. 
with the Hellions and the three Thors. The Mutalists looks like they did run away. Really needs to siege his tanks. I, why are you going to research siege and then never siege up your tanks? They're so much more effective against uh, Zerg units when you siege. I, it boggles my mind. Anyways, Beetle is chilling over here. It looks like they might be going to poke up. Uh, and I really think Paul should counterattack right now. This is only a group of Zerglings. His siege tank could help take care of that if he were to actually put it in siege mode. He's got plenty of Hellions to take care of that. Needs to get a couple SCVs to start repairing some of these hurt units. Uh, needs to not worry about uh, these Mutalists too much. He does have Thors here, so... These Thors do do a lot of damage to the Mutalisks. The Mutalisks are 1-1, one, one, so not enough to... They don't do only take three hits. And it looks like a few are going to die here, or just one, but still very nice. I, I'm surprised Paul didn't push after stopping that huge, huge attack from Paul. Uh, Paul does have two armor upgrades on his ground units now. That's very nice. Uh, and he's also researching uh, attack level 3 and air attack level 2. And it looks like he's now getting some banelings out. I think the banelings are a little bit of waste. There's not a whole lot of marines here. This is uh, mostly a mech army with some marauders mixed in. Very, very tough, heavy force. Uh, he, he doesn't really have enough to take care of all these light units. Uh, this is actually, I, I don't think, is a good army composition. I think he need, and he did bring SCVs over to repair. I should acknowledge that for him. But four Thors, some Marauders, a bunch of Hellions, and a single tank. I really think he should uh, build more tanks. And this uh, poor command center can't land because of this overlord. Uh, sorry about my phone ringing little bit of an engagement here a uh, bunch of mutalists now needs to keep them in the magic box so that or keep them outside of the magic box so they don't ball up so badly against these swords that can hurt a lot and uh paul is moving out and trying to do as much damage as he can this fine crawler a very good position on this so that it can bash down and do more damage should have moved those hellions back they took way too much damage get them behind the marauders and thors that way they can help absorb the zerglings and now these uh mutilists are beautifully spread they're going to stop above these thors and absolutely destroy them there's not enough anti-air to take care of all these uh mutilists and all the thors do go down these marauders are running over here to try to take out this expansion as fast as possible this raven not doing a, a lot needs to drop some auto turrets just to do something uh, the expansion does fall, but that's not a whole lot of damage. He does have three other bases currently up. These Marauders are all going to die, and I don't know if uh, Red Paul can build up a large enough force. There's not enough anti-air here. There's enough, uh, enough enough Hellions here. Hellions. Enough Mutalisks here to finish this game. Blue Paul just needs to push out. He has so many resources. Needs to throw down a uh, greater spire. Needs to make sure the spire doesn't die due to being off creep here in a second. His uh, weapon level 2 d is just finishing. Maybe that's what he's waiting for. It does appear that's what he was waiting for. So now he's going to move out and do a whole lot of damage. He did take out this expansion earlier, and he's uh, going to take it out again. It appears that there's nowhere this command center can go, and there aren't enough units here to... Uh, help it out. More Zerglings coming in as well. Going to lift it off, but it's not going to do anything. Lifts off just to crash back into the ground and blow up. Not a whole lot of force here. I don't think there is anything Paul can do. And uh, Paul's coming over here maybe to check to make sure there's no... Ex uh, never mind. He already knows there's no expansion because there's an Overlord here. I'm an idiot. Anyways, Paul waiting for something to attack. Maybe more Zerglings. He's got a few more Mutalisk uh, building five Infestors currently. Uh, if he were to push right now, though, he would end the game. There are not enough Marines here. The Marines are 2-2, though. At least he is keeping up with his upgrades. The vehicles are 1-1. One, one. I can't believe there are no siege tanks at all. But at this point, I don't know if there's any real need for them, especially with all these Mutalists coming around here, killing all the missile turrets. Needs to take out the store. That's the biggest threat. But needs to let his Mutalists spread out first. It looks like that's what he is doing. Uh, coming in the base to destroy missile turrets. This is absolutely unnecessary, as there's nothing important here anymore. Um... Uh, taking a lot of unnecessary damage with these mutalisks take uh he is sniping a weak supply depot here very nice from that perspective but needs to keep building up his force should have respread some of this creep after the last push but hard to do everything at once 
destroying some of these supply depots. Uh, however, Paul has plenty of supply available to him. And it looks like Paul is making one last desperate push, uh, just trying to end the game right here, bringing all of his SCVs, Marauders, and Thors into the battle. But there are so many Zerglings and Mutalists and Hydras, and look at all these investors going to throw down the Fungal Gross. Beautiful Fungal Gross, trapping all these units, backing off so he's not taking damage. Just a few SCVs chasing him, going to turn around and destroy these in a second. Here comes the Mutalists as well to help. Just not enough units from Red. Paul here. I think he will be forced to GG, and he does. Uh, two neural parasites going off, blowing the rest of these units away. And with the GG, that does give Random Paul the victory over the Terran Paul. Stay tuned for game two of the finals. Thanks for watching.